because there's a civil war going on right now and it's between white people and Sargons. And Sargons have got to go. Every time white people try and have a little bit of fun, ignorant ass Sargons come along and fuck it all up. Tired of this shit, man. Tired, tired, tired. Hello everybody, my name is Dick Coffin. Don't worry, that'll make sense in a bit. Uh, this is going to be a video response to Sargon of a card on his channel, The Thinkery. And I know what you might be thinking. You might be thinking, yeah, well, Richard, that's the second response to Sargon in a month. You did one last month and now you're doing another one. Yes, because like the last one I did, this one I was paid to do. This one is a request from a Patreon uh, on my Patreon if you pledge more than $20 or more. Your, one of your rewards is that you get to pick any YouTube video you want and I have to do a response to it. And apparently everybody just wants me to respond to fucking Sargon. So if you're watching this Sargon thinking, oh, Coughlin's done another response to me, don't flatter yourself, motherfucker. I have to be paid to fucking respond to you. This video is a response to a video he made called This Racist is not racist. Now, I'm not going to include any clips of Sargon's video because there's enough offensive content on my channel. I will say this, even by Sargon's extremely low standards, he tends to, he's excelled himself in this particular fucking video. The first, the first thing you need to keep in mind is he's responding to a clip. Um, he's responding to a short video uploaded by Vice UK um, uh, that is entitled A Racist Explains Why He's Not Racist. Uh, this clip comes from a documentary series um, that, was, uh, 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 that was created by Vice, hosted by a comedian called Jamali Maddox. Jamali Maddox is a British comedian born in Essex to a black Jamaican father and a white English mother. And it, this is a documentary series um, called Hate Thy Neighbour, in which he, it's very much in that kind of Louis Theroux kind of, uh, kind of, uh, th kind of um, theme or, or kind of genre, uh, where he basically puts himself, you know, right in, he goes right, you know, follows around, talks to and interviews people who are hate, who are, represent different, what you would define as hate groups, people with extremist beliefs. In this particular episode, um, Jamali is following around uh, certain members of extremist far-right groups and he ends up hanging around with a guy who's a member of the English Defence League whose name is Tommy. Not that Tommy, not Tommy Robinson, a whole other Tommy. I don't know what his last name is, but in particular what they did to promote the episode they showed you uh, a clip which is Jamali Maddox arguing with Tommy, uh, with this with this guy Tommy, uh, and, and Jamali is challenging the fact that this guy, um, you know, he's, he's challenging the fact that this guy tends to use racial slurs to describe people from different racial groups. He casually refers to certain people as niggers, he casually refers to certain people as paki Muslims, and and he, and Sargon decided to make a video defending this guy and explaining why he isn't racist. Now, there's a cliche that anyone who follows Sargon of a card video responses uh, will be more than aware of the fact. You'll be more than aware of that. There's a, there's a, there's one thing that Sargon always does, or that he's known for, uh, and uh, this is no different. And that is the fact that he never actually does any research beyond the bare minimum of what it what he he, he basically does enough to find the little bit that he can find to use to quote mine to back up his his view to back up his uh, his uh, his uh, pr you know predetermined opinions he, he uses he does that but he doesn't go any further if there's a study he hasn't gone past page one if there's an article he hasn't gone past paragraph one if there's a video he hasn't watched more than five minutes well this video clip was only one minute and 52 seconds but it's from a 45 minute documentary and i can tell you for a fact that sargon has not watched that 45 minute documentary because if he had 
I would question whether or not he would consider this was the guy he would want to defend. Now, I know, Sargon, this guy's an EDL member, and the EDL a couple of years ago gave you a shout-out at a rally. They held up a photo of your channel icon and said, subscribe to Sargon of Akkad, he's brilliant, and the EDL... And, of course, the EDL members subscribing to Sargon's channel gave him a boost of at least 12 to 13 people subscribing to his YouTube channel. I wonder, Sargon, because I want to get beyond whether or not this guy... Because you're sitting there going, this guy isn't racist. And we'll get on to your defence in a, in a second here. Right? We'll get on to the ludicrous argument that you're using to defend him. But let me just get beyond this. You're saying this guy is definitely not racist. But let, let's look at some of the things this guy is. In the same clip, in the same clip that you fucking used to say that he's definitely not racist, this guy says he, he hasn't got a problem with immigrants, but if immigrants come over here, they've got to contribute and they've got to do, they can't be a burden on society, they've got to contribute to. Now, that's fair enough. But then Jamal. Jamali Maddox asked him, well, are you contributing to society? And he says, not at the moment, no. And Jamali says, well, is that okay? And he goes, yeah, because I was like, I was born and bred here. So Jamali, what, so you're entitled to not contribute to society? He goes, yeah, why would it not be? Right? Now, doesn't that, can we, can, let's, 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 let's is, isn't that a fucking vile repugnant and you know, just and reprehensible attitude for someone to have oh if you're an immigrant you've got to come over here but and you've got to, you've got to do this you've got to contribute something but i was born and raised here so i can sit on my fucking ass all day i can not contribute to society i can be a detriment and a burden because i was born here this is a guy who's meant to be a patriot right but let's move on from that but let's go on to this let's go on to some other let's go on to another thing this is before this is in a bit before that clip. That clip that you showed is actually quite near the end. This is something, right? And I'm going to quote him. You can go check out the documentary yourself. This is, a, this is verbatim what he said. He says, what we need is another terrorist attack. And I hate to say this, but it's what we need, because then maybe people will rise up and start coming to the rallies again. What we need, he wants there to be. Right? This guy who you're defending, saying, oh, he's not racist, wants there, says that there's, what we need in this country is another terrorist attack. Now, presumably, this terrorist attack would not involve him or anyone else that he's uh, friends or family with. Right? And he's talking about an Islamic terrorist attack because then that will get people to come to his rallies, these poxy little rallies. Right? So he wants people, he wants there to be an Islamic terrorist attack. So let's say for argument's sake, Sargon, that you and your wife and your child were killed by, Muslim, by Islamic, Muslimic extremists, by Muslimic extremists, yeah. In a fucking terrorist attack, either a stabbing on a fucking London, like on London Bridge, or something blows you up, he would be okay with that because then he'd get more people coming to his EDL rallies. Yeah, but he's not racist. No, he's not racist. He just wants there to be a terrorist attack. Yes, patriot, patriot in this country. Here's another thing he says, and this is a clip after. This, this is just after the fucking uh, clip that you show. Um, Jamali asks him, you know, you know he, he says, I hate Islamic people. This is not a guy who differentiates between Muslims. He wants all of them out. And Jamali says, well, how are you going to get them to leave out of the country? And he says, literally, by terrorising them until they leave. Now, what do you call somebody who wants to terrorize people what, what's that called right what's that called oh yes it's called a fucking terrorist isn't it so and he doesn't care whether you are a muslim who's never done anything wrong 
He doesn't care if you're Muslim. Who was born here? Like about 60% of the world. No, if you are, Mu if you're Muslim, he wants you to. So he wants to. So he's oak. He wants Muslim extremists to commit a terrorist attack in this country, which would presumably lead to the loss of innocent lives of British people, and it would lead to, you know, severe injury at worst. Uh, he wants the. He wants terrorist. He wants terrorist acts to be committed. He wants Muslims in this country across the board to be terrorised and he's okay with sitting on his ass doing fucking nothing. This is the man you're choosing to defend as who's not... Do you know what? Even if that, that's not even the fucking... This is a 45 minute documentary. If that guy... If that guy in that clip had said, yes, I am racist, I hate all non-white people, and I'm proud of that. If he'd said that, that still wouldn't be the worst thing that he said in this documentary. Do you have any idea that this is the kind of... Do you want this? Right? Is this the kind of thing that you think's okay? Do you think it's okay to terrorise innocent people to get them to leave? Do you think it's okay... To fucking, you know, to sit there and for, for someone to say that you need a terrorist attack in your own country. Do you think it's okay for someone to say, it's okay for me not to contribute to society because I was fucking born here? Do you think that's okay, Sargon? Because if it isn't, let me see you say something about that. Rather than defending the fact that he's not racist, which you don't even do well there. I alluded to this at the start. This is something that's been going on for ages, and I fucking can't stand it, where basically Sargon uses what I would like to call... This is a new fallacy I'd like to create now. It's called the Argumentum Ad Chris Rock. Where, but as, as many of you are probably familiar with this, uh, back in 1996, in his HBO special Bring the Pain, Chris Rock did what is now a you know an iconic and legendary piece of stand-up called Black People versus Niggers, where he basically makes a differentiation. He differentiates between there are black people and there are niggers. Like that. Now, what people like Sargon have done, what Sargon's trying to do here, and what people like him do all the time, and it's in his comment section. It's a comment that you've pinned, motherfucker, saying, I think Chris Rock understands what this guy's saying. No, he fucking doesn't, right? This is... When Chris Rock did that stand-up routine, Sargon, he was speaking as a black man, speaking to an audience predominantly made of black people about an issue involved in the black community. He was not sat there making a legitimate argument that, hey, all of you, everybody, from now on, you can say black people and niggers, there are two different types of black people, and you can call black people niggers, it's okay, as long as when you, the ones you're calling are bad people. What fucking planet do you live on where you think that's a fucking... Uh, where this is an argument? Do you do it with anyone else? I'd like to see that, motherfucker. I'd like to see you step this up. From now on, there's no... There are Jews and there are kikes. There are gay people and there are faggots. There are, there are, there are, there are Chinese people and there are chinks. Why don't you do that if it's such a good fucking argument, right? And if you think, and for all the people who sit there and think that that's what Chris Rock was getting at, right? I'm going to read you, right? In 2005, Chris Rock, Chris Rock did an interview for 60 Minutes. He did an interview with Ed Brantley. I'll leave a link to this below, right? And in 2005, now this was about 10 years after the HBO special. So he was being interviewed about this. And he was being asked about... Uh, about this, right? And he was being asked about his old material. And one thing he says is, uh, he was asked about the niggers versus black people routine. And this is what, this is what he said. He said, you know, he said, I don't do that routine anymore and I probably never will. Ed Brantley asks why and he says, because a load of racist people started using it as a defense to call black people niggers. So because of, he's talking about you, Sargon. So for all you white people, that was not a routine that was meant, he was not making an argument that this is what everyone should do now. This is the vernacular we should use now. This is the language, it's okay now. He wasn't making a plea to white people saying, white people, you can make, the, you can call black people niggers now. And here's a thought for you, Sargon. Do you not think... Even if that's the argument you're putting against Tommy, let's say this, let's say you were a racist. Right? Let's say you were a racist and you wanted to call black people that and you wanted to call Pakistani or Muslim people that. Let's say that was the... Wouldn't that argument be a great cover? Wouldn't it? 
Oh yeah, it would, wouldn't it? Right? But here's the thing, not every. here's another thing you might want to consider. And I know this more than anyone, as a guy who spent a lot of time on fucking white supremacist websites, Sargon. That argument is used by every single one of them. And in fact, ironically, I've only ever seen white people make this argument. Isn't that a bit odd that it's only ever white people who make this fucking argument, who are using this Chris Rock fucking routine? That's not what a stand-up... Isn't it ironic the people who go, oh, it's just a joke, are now taking a stand-up routine seriously? I mean, think about this for a second. You think it's okay to call other black people niggers because of a stand-up routine that Chris Rock did 22 years ago? A routine that he no longer does because of people like you. Don't you think that's a bit fucking weird? Don't you think that's a bit fucking stupid? Of course you don't. And I don't expect it to. But here's the big irony of that, right? Jamali Maddox says to Tommy at the end of the documentary, he says to him, you know, uh, you know, I think that either, you know, either you are racist and you're just saying that as a cover or as, a, as an excuse, or you're racist and you don't know it. Tommy, to, this Tommy guy, the guy you're defending, the guy who just said he wants there to be terrorist attacks, the guy who said he wants there... The guy who said he wants their, you know, you know, the guy who said he wants to terrorise innocent Muslims till they all leave the country. The guy who says it's okay for him to sit on his ass and do fuck all. The guy who you're defending, right? When when Jamali says that to him, Tommy proceeds to try and attack him. He has to be held back. He then threatens all the camera crew, threatens to find out where they live. I know where your families live. So he's now threatening innocent people, right? He then claims he's being stitched up, and now. And he loses his goddamn mind and has to be restrained. This guy who's gone around casually using the words "packy Muslims and niggers," you know, just, just willy nilly, right? And a black guy overhears him, or a black guy who is we've questions him about it and says that's racist, and he loses his goddamn mind. Here's a thought: if you don't want people to think you're fucking racist, don't go around casually fucking using racial slurs to describe racial racial minority groups because maybe maybe not all of them have seen bring the pain from the hbo special that chris rock did 20 years ago and maybe even if they did they would be intelligent enough to understand that it's a fucking comedy routine and it's a black man talking to black people. Chris Rock even says that in the Ed Brantley interview. He says, this is something that a lot of black people thought about, and I was trying to find a way I could broach it. It's not for you to fucking go around saying this word and that word willy-nilly. It's fucking pathetic. And I just feel... I'm not even that angry. I just feel sorry for you at this point, Sargon, that this is the level. This is who you're defending. This scumbag. You're defending him, and you're using a 22-year-old stand-up routine that you clearly don't understand, and that even he doesn't do anymore because people like you have made him embarrassed to do it. You're a sad sack of shit. My name's Dick Coughlin. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support me and my work on YouTube and my podcast, you can do so on patreon.com forward slash dickdynasty666. You can make a donation via PayPal. And if you pledge more than $20, you too can get your own uh, reply to uh, anyone. Anyone at all. Anyone. Doesn't have to be Sargon. Could be anyone at all. Other than that, thank you for watching. Good night. May God be less.